Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about four common causes of SIBO. Now what SIBO is, is SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So it's an overgrowth of bacteria that's happening within our small intestines. Now, one of the reasons that we may have an overgrowth of that bacteria within those small intestines is that our natural innate defenses can be down. And one of those defenses can be a lack of digestive enzymes. Now our bodies naturally produce digestive enzymes, but in some cases our bodies just aren't producing enough of these digestive enzymes. And this can be a contributing factor to why we see SIBO occurring. Now another defense mechanism within our body is bile flow. And if we have a lack of proper bile flow within the digestive tract, then we can see an increase of this overgrowth of bacteria happening within those small intestines. So improving proper bile flow can also be something that would help for SIBO and helping to alleviate SIBO and making sure that we have proper bile flow can also be a preventative strategy for SIBO. Now another cause of SIBO can be a problem with the peristaltic contractions. So these are the contractions that help to move the food bolus through that digestive tract, through those small intestines. And there's these rhythmic contractions that happen to make sure that that food bolus moves through that digestive tract. And if there's problems with this contraction, then what can happen is that we can have a stagnation of the, that food bolus within the digestive tract, specifically within those small intestines. And when we have that stagnation, then we can have a fermentation happening. And this can lead to having an overgrowth of the wrong bacteria within that digestive tract. So this can also be a contributing factor to SIBO. Now, another contributing factor to SIBO is we have this valve called the ileocecal valve. And it's a valve between the end of the small intestines and the beginning of the large intestines. And it should open and let that food bolus move into the large intestines and then that flap should close again, that valve should close again. Now, if that valve is not working effectively, then sometimes what can happen is that it can open and bacteria that should just reside in the large intestines can move into the small intestines and it can contribute to that SIBO picture, that overgrowth of the wrong bacteria within those small intestines. So these are four common causes of SIBO and these are the causes that really should be addressed when we are treating SIBO. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.